everyone, my name is Camilla. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to code a remix of Beethoven's for Elise so we can head over to tunepad.com and get started. Okay, so first we want to listen to what the song actually sounds like and what we want to recreate. So first I'm just going to play this file that's already finished. And this is what it's supposed to sound like. Okay, great. So now what I'm gonna start off with is just going back to the little MyTunes library and I'm gonna start making a new project so that we can begin our code and I'm gonna name it the name of the song, which is Beethoven, just like that. And then we can start by making a new cell, which is gonna add an instrument to our song. The first instrument I'm gonna use is the keys, which is gonna be the melody of the song, um, what, you, what you heard with like the little notes. So that's what I'm gonna start off by. And so what I'm gonna do first is make variables so that we know, so that it's easier to know which note we're playing at a time. So for example, I know that I want to start playing an A, which is here, and the number for that note is 69. So I'm going to make an A variable and set that equal to 69. So that way we can use our play note function to actually play the note using that variable. So if I say play note, I can put in the parameters as an argument A, and if I play this, it should play an A note for one beat, just like that. And if we wanted to play it for less time, we can specify that beats equal 0.5 to make it half a beat. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing that for every note that we want to play. So we wanna play the note B, which is 71, C, which is 72, D, 74, E is 76. Um, now we're going to play E flat, which is 75, and this is a black note, so you can tell what you want to play by um, just looking at the numbers on either side and using whatever is in the middle. So this is E flat, um, and I can see that the note before it is 74 and the note after it is 76, so I know that E flat is 75. We also want G sharp which uses the same idea. Um, it is this note right here, um, right there. Oop. So I can tell that the note before is 67, the note after is 69, so G sharp is 68. And then lastly, we want to make a variable for when we don't want to play any notes at all. And so I'm going to make that variable be variable be just an underscore and I'm going to set that equal to none. So this means that when I say play note and I use this underscore variable, it's not actually going to play anything. So as you can see up here in the output, you don't have any notes um, even though I called this play note function. Okay, so now we can use all of these notes to make different lists for different parts of the melody. If I name the first list P1, I can set that equal to the notes that we want to play for that part of the melody in order. So I'm going to say E goes first, then E flat, then E, then E flat again. And once I play this, you guys will be able to see um, or hear that it actually does sound like the melody itself. And then I'm gonna end with three rests, just like that. Okay, this is the first list of the right order of the notes that we wanna play. If I use a for loop to play each note in this list, I can say for note in P1, we are going to play 
note and the note that we're going to play is notes. So essentially, I'm using this for loop to go through each list and for each note. So this variable note stands for each one of these variables right here. We're going to play that note um, and that will go through the whole list, playing each one of these, and it should sound something like this.